Looks like some of them are going to for their second. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. So today we're going to do a shout out and the plants, plants I forgot to, to mention and the our, how our eye discus is doing. I need to do a shout out for once I your Isha yeah because our chili party has she, turned red. Yeah, and I'm Isha was the one who bought them them for me. Yeah, I can't find the red one. Wait, let me show her the. Yeah, it's a red one here. Yeah. So for some reason they are upside down. She got me them for a birthday present, hmm. even though my, we celebrated a few weeks after because we went to a few a days trips because we went to a trip to Sentosa okay. for my birthday. Let's talk about this. Now we have our eye whiskers. It's a different type of eye whiskers, but both of our eye whiskers have bloomed today. See this one and that one. By the way, just just before we took this video, this blue this is dying one just fell off. We can dry it and make hibiscus tea, right? Yeah. So we will dry all of it. Yeah, we can we'll just dry them and make hibiscus tea. My grandmother used tea bags for fertilizing. As you didn't know, they actually they actually you can use many things for fertilizing. Eggs. Like eggshells? Egg, yeah, eggshells. That's a good one. And then you can use these tea bags and you can use many other things. There's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So the plant I forgot to mention, this is our tomato cherry. So my dad grew them from the seed. And also we have our also our like our ferns, they're doing very great. This root, for some reason, it just went here on top of the plant. It grew on top oh, of the yeah. plant. Like it's like it's like some vines. And then this one, it grew up here. There's one that even like went from over here. There are two of them. It just came from inside of the plant. It came up here. Mm -hmm. You see this part? <laughs> this. It has been growing a lot, and also our, our this one, our our, our kale, I think. Kale, yeah, it's a kale. It's not. We don't know what's happening to it. It's some white stuff on it, and you can like rub it off. See, like, and then like there's some stuff in my finger. I like you can't really see it. Let me. It's hard to see, actually. So, if you know what's happening to our kale, please let me know in the comments. My idea is that you know trees, when they when it's time, then they will they will pollinate. All the the pollen, the white pollen, will fall onto the ground, and then it will be like an ocean of whiteness. Even though underneath it's just grass. To to remove those, you need to have a controlled flame. Make sure to subscribe and like my videos and bye!